So apparently for this AI, you have to get so insanely accurate uh, on every single sound, even if it's not the most natural way to speak. And... <sighs> Hi, I'm Josh, your natural American English guide, and this is English Hacks Pronunciation, where I help you to sound like a native and to understand natural American speech better. So today we are doing a sort of a review of the app Elsa Speak. One of you guys, if I remember right, Elmi Robello, asked me if I had heard of this app and I had not. So I decided to take a look. And we're going to jump straight into the review where you can see me interact with some sentences that it gives me as I record myself and give you my impressions of if I think this app is useful and if it's worth the money. But one thing I want to mention first is that I have a very, very huge lesson coming up. And this lesson will be introducing a completely new concept about American English pronunciation that you may never have heard of before and that may change the way that you look at English pronunciation. Interestingly, this app review is a perfect example of why I want to make this big lesson and introduce this idea to you guys, but we'll save that for later. This summer, I will visit a new country with two of my best friends. This summer, I will visit a new country with two of my best friends. Lol. Ooh, I got advanced. Look at that. It's like I'm a native speaker or something. This summer, I will visit a new country with two of my best friends. Really? Oh look, now I got native level. I, I instantly improved, guys. That, that's fantastic. Still can't get 100% though. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me try this one more time. I'm going to super clearly enunciate. Let's see. Okay. This summer, I will visit a new country with two of my best friends. I don't know what to do. Apparently, I have a problem with V and B. Maybe that's all the Spanish practice I got. If we move on, let's try the next one. Okay. We will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean. We will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean. Come on, guys. See, this might be because I'm saying sightseeing with the E-E-N that I mentioned recently in a video. Uh, the I-N-G hack. This is way off, apparently. It's supposed to be ocean. I don't know how they want me to say it. Okay, so that's, that's super useful that you can replay the original audio and then you can replay what you said. That's a super useful tool. Very, very useful. But if I play this, so first this one. We will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean. Okay, if I'm focusing and really trying to hear, I can hear that she's saying sight. It, it sounds like E to me, the first vowel, but I can hear she's going in the back. Mm, if I really focus. If I don't focus, I just notice it as een because that's how I speak. Then let me s listen to how I said it, this ing. We will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean. I don't know if you could hear that, but sightseeing. I did the N sound, not the uh, back sound. Okay, let's focus on the R here. So if we play this. We will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean. Stay at a resort. Okay, so that sounded like a nice good R. Let's hear this one. We will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean. Okay, so my R was maybe just a little bit less clear compared to hers. Maybe not quite as clearly enunciated, but sounds like an R to me. I don't know about to you guys. Um, I don't really notice much of a difference there, so I don't know why that's wrong. Um, and this one in particular, so let's see, ocean. We will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean. By the ocean, ocean. We will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean. Ocean, ocean. Sounds like she has a very slightly different quality of the SH sound. And I'm hearing an E, the second vowel sound. Um, not a schwa. We will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean. Yeah, so I clearly say ocean, ocean, with also an SH, 
Okay, so what this is telling me here is that um, maybe there's a problem with the AI, but whatever it is, uh, clearly she's saying an SH here because it's spelled with a C, it's an SH sound. Clearly she's saying an SH and clearly I'm saying an SH. The exact quality of the SH does seem very slightly different, which doesn't particularly matter here. Um, I think it's very clear either way. And then here, whether it's I or a, uh, ocean, ocean, it doesn't matter. But I'm hearing her say I, second vowel, and I'm saying I, the second vowel. Um, but this is saying it's not quite right. By the way, contractions, contractions. So we will, sure, that's fine. Sometimes we will use that, like I just did, we will use that, okay? It might come out that way, it depends. Um, there are cases for that. I'm also aware that I'm talking to you guys as English learners, and so that makes it a little more likely that I might uncontract so that it's clear. Um, but in actual everyday speech, it's, you know, probably nine times out of ten, or at least eight times out of ten, we're going to contract, okay, wheel. Um, so this is technically okay, it's good, there's nothing wrong with it, but I would like to see, uh, and maybe in the actual program they do have this, I would like to see the contracted form because a lot of students don't get enough practice with that and it's not informal that's one of the big myths that maybe you were taught wrong about it is not informal i'm going to try sort of my mixed southern accent here we will go sightseeing and stay at a resort by the ocean makes sense apparently now i said ocean perfectly so that's interesting um, the r is now perfect that's interesting. Um, and the ING is, is still wrong according to this. It's probably the last one. We will get to enjoy a nice room with a beautiful view of the ocean. Okay. We will get to enjoy a nice room with a beautiful view of the ocean. Hey, look at that, 97. That's fantastic. It's like I speak this language or something. I don't know what's wrong there. Let's see. We will get to enjoy a nice room with a beautiful view of the ocean. Of the, of the. So she clearly said that V. She pushed out that V sound, which is not required. Okay. Yeah, I can say viewa the, viewa. Uh, we usually drop that V sound there. And I think that a program like this, obviously it's a lot easier to just say, okay, what's the full clearly enunciated pronunciation of this word? And that's what the AI, the computer, is going to try to hear. And so this is probably not the best judge of real natural speech. Um, that doesn't mean it's not valuable. You should be able to clearly enunciate a sentence, right? Ideally, that's something that you need to be able to do. But in reality, um, like that's the start point, And then you can kind of start to get a little messy and everything. Um, so this might be a good step to make sure that you are saying things clearly, if it's accurate enough, which I don't think it is. I don't think it's too bad, but I, I wouldn't trust something like this completely. Let's see how I said it with this, this sound here. Remember, it's a V, spelled with an F, but it's a V, so listen for a V. We will get to enjoy a nice room with a beautiful view of the ocean. Okay, so I actually did say the V there because I was trying to say it like she did, a little more clear. Now, I did not quite enunciate that V as clearly as she did. Um, I don't know if you caught it. I said more, instead of of the, I said more like of the, of the. So I didn't quite have enough air to push it out super clearly, but it was still there. I can still hear it just fine. And yet it's saying that it's wrong. So apparently for this AI, you have to get so insanely accurate uh, on every single sound, even if it's not the most natural way to speak. As I said, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the end of the world. You, do, you should be able to speak nice and clearly if you choose to. But I think that this software just isn't accurate enough. If it were me and I were learning English, or if this were some other, for some other language, I would probably use it. So this can potentially be a useful tool, but don't just rely on it. Don't just trust what it says. I think it might be better not to use it at all, honestly, because um, then you don't have to worry about it, but it can be a useful tool, I think. Now they're going to try to sell it to me, of course. 79% discount, that's not bad. Still 100 bucks. Um, that seems a bit overpriced. 
apparently they have lessons and stuff. So I'm going to be making a video talking about why I don't think general American is neutral uh, and why it's not like the proper way to speak American English. You can learn it if you want. There's no problem with it. When you look at software like this, um, it's going to be based on sort of the standard neutral, normal, supposedly neutral accent. And that's okay. But again, with the way that I'm teaching you, it's not going to match perfectly. That's the interesting thing, right? Even with, with my dialect, um, even when I changed to the southern accent, most of it was still correct. But it was telling me that some things that I said before were now correct, where when I speak Western American, which is a lot closer to General American, it's almost exactly the same, it was giving me things that were wrong, where in the southern accent it wasn't wrong. It, yeah, so it says... Speak English in short, fun dialogue. So in the actual lessons, I guess they're short, fun dialogues. Maybe that, that could be very useful and interesting. That might make it worth it. Um, get instant feedback from pr proprietary artificial intelligence technology. I hate proprietary software. I really do. That's just a personal thing. <laughs> um, that means it's not open source, not free to modify. Personally, I mean, I know they're a company, but uh, personally, I think that, uh, especially with artificial intelligence, like the best way to really help people and to get like to, to improve the artificial intelligence in the fastest and most efficient way to where it will actually help as many people as possible is to have it be open source. Um, instant and precise feedback. See, that's good. You want instant and precise feedback. That's a super good idea. I just don't think the AI is up to it. I don't think it's good enough. Free interactive pronunciation dictionary. Again, that could be super useful. Um, if I made an English hacks version of this, I think this would be like the perfect thing for you guys. But obviously, <laughs> I'm not a software engineer. Yeah, it says right here, okay, neutral American English. Elsa is the world's best pronunciation coach that helps you speak English in a neutral global American accent. Um, I would debate that. I would highly debate that. And even if it is, it's not the easiest accent. It's not the, the, the best accent necessarily. Um, you can speak it if you want. That's fine. But I think the way I teach you guys is better. Someday, AI will probably be good enough to replace an actual person's ears. I don't think this app is up to it. I really don't. That's just my opinion, but for the price, I wouldn't. Most English teachers don't believe that it's possible for the average language learner to develop a native or near native accent, which is absolutely 100% false. So for most teachers, they think that the best thing to do is to try to get you to speak as clearly and enunciated as possible to get as close as you can to the sound. And there's nothing wrong with that. You should be able to clearly enunciate a sound. You don't necessarily have to be perfect, but a lot of times the overemphasis on being so clear will actually make you sound very rigid and unnatural, even if it's perfectly easy to understand you. At the end of the day, it all depends on you and your goals. If your goal is just to be clearly understood, then this might be a good option for you. But if you also want to sound natural, like a native, this app is going to give you some of that, but it's definitely going to train you in a way that seems very stiff and rigid and not natural at all. It's one possible tool that you can use. And as I said, personally, I would not use it. And of course, if you guys are learning from me, with the more Western American pronunciation, like the cot cot merger, and the special hacks that I give you guys, that might possibly interfere with the AI because it seems to be optimized for the neutral general American pronunciation, even though the way I'm teaching you is generally simpler and easier. Besides, you already have the best tool that you can possibly use, your own ears. As I've said many times, Train your ears, not your eyes. As always, a very special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for watching another English Hacks lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.